The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Hi, folks, with that Mozart Overture. This is Basil Chapman sitting here for Larry. Just heard that Larry uh, has, uh, is, I think, his throat or something wasn't, wasn't good. Um, and I shouldn't be doing this because I had trouble with the earphone, but I think we're on. So here we go. I'm looking at the Dow down 423 at 31,456. What I'm going to do in the show, which is Larry's hour, but I thought it would be important uh, just to, to, to cover some things. I know many of you asked me, but I'm going to do some of the uh, grains and different commodities. So let me do that. The Dow right now is down 450 at 31,456. Um, the S&P the is trading down 89 at 3884. So this candle that I talk about, the Chapwave Roman candle, if there is a move within two sessions, sometimes it's three, but usually one or two sessions, below halfway of the long-legged pick, in this case 38,868, if there is a move more than 90 minutes below that level, you've got to be careful because it can very quickly test the left side low of the candle, which is 38,000. The QQQ, one, two, three, QQQ, index 100 if if it trades for another i'm going to give it another 30 to 40 minutes if it trades up to 285 is it 350 for another we're at about eight minutes past 11 in the morning on this tuesday the uh, 24th of may if we close at least on the 10 minute ball if it continues to hold this 285 level and I would, I would say, let's give it all the way to Larry's show. If it does that, there's a real good chance in a day. But today or the next day, it could test you at the the below of Friday. We're looking at IWM, the Russell 2000, also very bad. And it's on 5 at 1709. Now, let's go to a couple of things. Within what Larry loves to look at, of course, gold. And he's got all these uh, different areas. Let's do that. So gold right now is at the 200 period moving average. Of course, Larry never used Moving average, but I have it right here. And there's two hundred period moving average of 1865. Oh, the sound is breaking up. Oh, what a day. So that is not good because that defeats the whole purpose of doing this. And I've got a, a ringing in the ears from a telephone that I don't know where it's from. Um, I will talk a little bit slow. Maybe that. Let me know. Uh, we're looking at the Dow, the gold at 1865, right on the 200 period of sonic dissonance. It's not going to be good. But I'll, I'll do this and then I'll have to try something. It's at the 200 period moving average, and that is usually resistance. It was support, but it became resistance, and it has been. This is the gold, but if you look at the gold miners, and I usually like to treat them as leap. I prefer to see the gold mines before gold. <clears throat> what we're looking at is that it's in leg C, way under the 200 period, moving out to 25, so 32.7. And it's in leg C. So that says that gold stocks are not participating as well as they should. If you're looking at the dollar, the dollar made a high of 105.1 in the continuous contract, the trading at 1.7. That says that the 50 period moving out of 101.42, well, let's go to the 101.40, really important support. But I must say that already I'm very close to giving it a sell signal on the daily, not yet a sell mode. Uh, but there's a quick turn to both because the 9 period is under the 14 period. So within that context, there's. Okay, I don't know if that's helping. Let's just see if that's helping. Uh, we're looking at the dollar. Let's look at the USD. 
JPY. And the dollar and the gold and dollar and the uh, the yen usually go in the same direction, not necessarily the same. Uh, uh, they don't progress in the same way. Direction-wise, they do. So USD JPY also trading down, uh, down 1.26 at 126.62. I'm about to give this, I am in fact going to give it a down arrow, which says it's in the sell signal. It could even upgrade to a sell mode. So you've got these key currencies, the dollar and the yen pulling back, that's helping the USD JPY move very nicely. As I said in my show, the target uh, just a moment ago, uh, EUR USD right at the 50 period moving average 0725. And this is a really good move. And it's almost like you've got in leg B, you've got a buy signal that could be upgraded to a buy mode. I am prepared to put an up arrow now, the Euro, which is saying. Euro is now sided up. And uh, within that context, let's look at the, uh, the TL. Let's look at bonds. Bonds trading at leg C. Here again, I have to consider that this is stochastic at 85%. Mag did good. And I'm not sure. I think I clue. I, I don't know if, you, if I'm getting close to the break. I have everything said because. Uh, it's 142.30 seconds up, but almost two points. That's a big move. And that says the left side high that we're looking at. In fact, I'm going to draw this. I'll show you some of the things. Captain Wave, uh, even though Larry's show and Larry never uses moving averages, it doesn't matter because sometimes we come to the same conclusion. And this says that this particular chart right here says it shoots 144 level within about by Friday, maybe Monday. It's at 140 9.30 seconds. So with that said, uh, I'm drawing the left side, right side, right side match. There. I usually go to the low bar. In this particular case, I can't because it's too long side. So I immediately grab that, give it a green. Left side, right side, price time matches. This case is not going to be time. It's just price. That says, there it is. That says, why? Uh, by by next week, by early next week, we should be trading above uh, one one point one point one four three point and at nine six seconds. That's the U.S. bond, Treasury bond. So uh, still cutting out occasionally, but it's not that that's okay. So I can do the best I can in terms of that. And I wanted to show you something else with the TLT. TLT is also good. Funny enough, the it's a little bit better than the TLT. Okay, be that as it may, we'll see what happens. And we'll see where the VIX is right now. This is still rallying. It's at 387. This is uh, just telling us it's selling. So, uh, with that said, just want to mention Basil Chapman. I do the Tiger Business Hour. And my next is the call. And I'm just sitting in for the hour. Larry, uh, enough uh, subscribers and people to ask but I'll be able to get to the grains. Do that as soon as we get here. Yes, we are back. Well, it's like health of Chapman. Larry, sitting in for Larry, because I remember this is great. See you next time. of booming inflation where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi folks, Basil Chapman here, yeah, sitting in for Larry Pesavento. This is the hour of trade what you see, but I'm sitting here with Bitcoin. Bitcoin stuck sideways. Uh, ever since it made the 69,950 November, uh, the week of the 12th of November high at 20, 20, in 2021, it come, came plunging down, and then it got the pattern that we call the dreaded H. This is that arch formation. It's like a lowercase h. It usually tells the, the first peak or the second peak, peak A or peak B comes a big B minus as it goes underneath the left side low. So that's the same rule of thumb. As we had with the huge arch formation in the uh, euro dollar. Now what happens is you've got three bars to chart in the middle here is daily, weekly, monthly, and it says that the, at Bitcoin went below the low that was made to the week of the 20th of January at 32,960. And it's the third week that it's been there. This is called the Chapway Rope Candle. And it's a very positive aspect. You can close above the high for two out of three bars. It's a weekly bar that are very positive. But if it starts to trade in the mid of this candle for a good three hours or four hours of any particular session, be careful with that 25,000 low that was made about two weeks ago. That, that's that's the rule of thumb is that it probably go down. If it holds three weeks, I don't know about that. But but this week and next week, it closes uh, on any 120 minute chart. Let's not fuss about it. This is now any day. If it starts to trade most of the day below 28,500, be careful because it's going to be from 25,000. Oh, and very quickly. Now, a couple of things that I need to look at because uh, within the context of Said palladium. I was asked about palladium yesterday, and I said, "No, no, no. This is—it's not breaking down out. It's just stuck in range. Remember, a rectangle formation can last a lot longer than patience. And if you do this, you see that it's basically in a rectangle formation, and you can make it a smaller one. Say, platinum continuous contract trading at down to nine forty-seven is right at the fifty-period average yesterday. It pulled back." But then it's holding above the 9 period moving average. That's good. Magni's good. Stochastic is kind of weak at 43%. Unbalanced volume, the blue line is just terrible. And yet, if it manages to go to 9 
95 on any day to close. Played well. Uh, there's a good chance that if you go into my signal by crossing green, then it can have another test of the high. I can just tell you that if it trades at any point in the next week to over 972, I would have to put 975. Sorry, 975. That would be a very good sign. Meantime, it's a stuck range. P-A-L-L is palladium. Palladium is uh, abitine physical palladium trading at 185. I made a peak. The, the uh, monthly charm is going to be quite deadly. Four highs peak did it again. Now it's trading at 185. Up at the near 300. And uh, yeah, too, we're just looking at sideways action. So let's do this. We want to look at the questions came in about crude oil. Now I can only look at the crude oil continuous fund. At this point, it's down nine cents or down eight cents at 110.17. What I am looking at is in the upper range of this particular register here. You see that? I can draw a little rectangle and say that the larger rectangle of the of the big chart. Let me just take this because you need to see. First of all, the monthly chart, look at this. The tops can be made. Look at all those tops that were made for years 2010, 2014. You had this 110, 120 year period. Just stuck. Couldn't get out of its way. And then it plumped it down. And then what happened is it grabbed it up and it came down to the uh, well, 20 low. I've got that as 761, but this is a continuous quantity chain. Actually, it's minus $1.90. I'm going to put that in because that's what it's written as. Minus, minus 1.19. Ah, that's April. Whatever it is, the chart pattern is absolutely accurate. Everything's accurate except the price gets smoothed out because it's continuous. And it gets recalibrated. So the April low of 2020. And then it runs up and it goes to, it runs up to 89.72. That number's also changed. That goes to 125.83. Let me get that right. 25.83. 5.83. But whatever the high is, uh, that was in January 2022. I'll check in a moment. That was in March 2022. Whatever that high is. That's the, and now you're starting to see we're creeping up. So this is that inverted Chapway Roman candle. And that says if there is a trade in the monthly chart we're looking at, any any day that crude oil trades closes above 150, be, be, be aware that it could really quickly go to 125. So <laughs> within that context, what we're looking at is it's in a high-level consolidation. It's just in a trading, a very narrow trading range. <clears throat> and it can stay this way for a little while. Okay? As long as it doesn't break significantly above the high of 112.79, uh, the continuous contract, that was the high that was made on the 17th of May. If it does that, and it starts to trade towards that, that high 115 area, everything kicks in. This little mini rectangle right here in the day, in the weekly chart says, you make higher highs and higher lows. What's the, what's, what's the trend? The trend is higher highs and higher lows. What's the trend down? Lower highs and lower lows. So that context, what we're looking at is we are looking at the crude having a high level of consolidation. And all we can look at at this particular point is to say, well, high level consolidations can continue for a little while. For a while. Very, very, you make one spike to the upside. And then if you come back down into the rectangle, take the point of the rectangle out, normally you see a bunch below the rectangle. So that's crude oil. We want to look at heating oil, each oil. Um, these are continuous contracts. Right there. there it is. Oh, I haven't updated this. Oh, but I can't do it. So this is peak A, peak B. C1, C2. All right, at 3.81, it's saying that, yes, there's also a high level. It looks a little bit like the dollar. It's pulled back quite sharply from the high, but it's still in the high range. So 3.8, I would say 
a, a close below 320 at any time in the next two weeks is, oh, oh crude oil is about to be back. And if it breaks above the high of the 6th of um, May, the week of the 6th of May, of 4.27, let's say it goes to 4.35 or higher, that says even crude oil is starting to be impacted by all these different rates. So a question came up, could I, could I quickly look at how we're about to go to a break? So we won't be able to do that in the break. I might be able to do something. See the sideways range in, in the rectangle formation? You hardly ever see that in the day. You see, there's the evening. It's stuck in the range. And I'll be back in a moment. We need to check it, right? Step in in this right. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablet as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Hi, everyone. We're back. I think we actually resolved a whole bunch of those things during the break. And uh, now let me show you a couple of things. So you see this pattern right here, this rectangle pattern. I'm going to put an up arrow here, which suggests that in time alone, we've gone to a leg C and a peak C. In the Chapman wave, we're always looking for identifying the lowest uh, low bar and from there counting each successively higher peak. Let me just do this real quickly. And from the low bar, we like to count each successive peaks. Um, this is successively, alphabetically. A, B, C, D. D is where other things can happen, the fourth highest peak, but it can go E, F, and G. It can recycle and have a whole brand new move to the upside. So a buy signal 
gets upgraded to a buy mode under certain conditions, certainly in a leg B, there's a good chance that it can be upgraded. We just did that. You saw I upgraded the daily charts of bonds. I upgraded the daily chart of the euro. And I said that you've got a comparable sell signal in the dollar. Well, even though we've been long since 90.07 via the UUP since 2018, we're still thinking that there's some kind of a, a pullback coming. And uh, so this here goes from a, a buy signal to a buy mode, meaning that there should be at least four higher peaks. At the fourth highest peak, other things can happen, but it takes you to that fourth highest peak. So here we are. We're looking at this peak C right here. You've gone, you haven't gone, you just need to go fractionally above it and you get yourself a leg D. Hasn't happened yet. And my rule of thumb is in a narrow rectangle, a rectangle can last a lot longer than your patience. And that's exactly what we see in a market like this where you go up uh, 600 points in a day, Friday, 600 points in a day, Monday, um, to see a trading band between 3,891 3, and the E-mini and three, let's call it 380, let's go to that low there, 3875 in the, in the uh, this is the one minute chart, for, for this amount of time from 1020, actually just a little before 1020, to where we are now, an hour and a, hour and a quarter, and you're stuck in this range. So this is really important. If you had to look at the NQ, uh, NQH, oops, NQM22, there we go. That's also been in a range, but it's making slightly higher highs and higher lows. And that means this is peak A, peak B, peak C, recycle A, also a B and a C, and then you get a culmination of a D. Let me put that in. Many of you like to look at this. So this is your peak A right here. Yeah, as long as you don't take out the low bar, it's still current. So this is your A, uppercase on the way up. This is your C. Underneath it, you have an A, you have a B, you have a C, and lo and behold, you get your D. D is slightly higher than that. That's called a cumulative uh, peak D, overlapping because it went peak A, B, C. And underneath it, it had another mini A, B, C, or at least a gray A, B, C. That should always take you to a D, and then you get a pullback. But it's still, the 9 is still holding above the 4, the 14 period moving average. So just at this particular moment, there's still some upside residual strength. We'll see if that holds. Right? There's your rectangle. This is the uh, one minute NQM. And it makes a difference. You saw these are the same notations I use on the monthly chart. It just doesn't matter what time frame. Now, let's get, we'll skip that. And what I want you to look at, my uh, questions came in. Let me see, where was it here? Uh, yeah, uh, the mic should be good, right? I hope you were uh, you you, got, you went through and you were patient enough to stay with me because uh, that's what we're looking at. So questions have come in. Let me just see. Yes. So Bitcoin. Let me just do this. BTC Bitcoin had a spectacular move. This is the continuous contract. Went to the what's the objective in the Chapman methodology to get you to at least a D in a buy mode. Well, it went to a D in the in the monthly chart. It went to a D. At 69,950 in the uh, weekly chart, it went to the last one, it was a D in the daily chart. <clears throat> it slumped down to 25,350. So what do I do? I normally just grab my the trade station tools and I go, whoops, like that. <clears throat> and this just tells me you've been in for a week and a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, <clears throat> 12. So for about 11 or 12 bars, this is 11 or 12 days in Bitcoin, it stayed in the in the in this trading band, this narrow after being having huge moves intra uh, intraday sometimes. Look at this move right here intraday, just the one that made the low on the twelfth. That went from twenty five thousand three fifty to thirty thousand one hundred. I would say a six seven hundred point move is is that's pretty big. And yet it is stuck in this narrow range. So it's it's testing the waters. Is it, be, is it going to be able to break to the upside? Normally what I would be looking at in a pattern like this is that there is one failure in the H, the dreaded H pattern. The dreaded H pattern is this pattern right here. Remember, I mostly look at three. I mostly look at three. 
uh, directional moves, straight up, straight down, cup formation, arch formation, and the dreaded H is where at a peak A or B, it fails and comes down and retests the left side low. How it deals with that is one thing. And on the right side is the green Y, reverse Y formation. How it deals with this left side high is the most important thing. So here we go. We've got the dreaded H potential pattern here. And it says if there is a close in Bitcoin below 27,600, that's 1,400 or so points below this level we're at, <coughs> Be careful because there could be a real quick move. Oh, I did this already. Remember I said Bitcoin, this is the Chapman Wave Roman candle right here, has a tiny little wick, a long-legged body, and then it closes a half to uh, two-thirds off the low. And that just says at any point if you start to trade under 28,300, you're probably going to retest the 25,350. That's why this moment right now is going to be so, so important. And um, so I did that, I did that. Oh, wood. This is the iShares Global Timber and Forestry ETF. Peak B in the monthly chart. Peak D, and look at the sharp pullback in the weekly. Peak D in the daily, look at the sharp pullback. So it's held so well so far. Uh, look at this uh, as a global unit. High, uh, wood, iShares Timber and Forestry ETF. That's, that is really good action, except now it's starting to weaken. And now we're going to be watching it because I like to put wood, W-O-O-D, this is the symbol for the iShares Global Timber and Forestry ETF, um, trading at $85.59, $1.17. And let's go to high-grade copper. I put them together because, look, it's almost the same pattern in the monthly chart. Now, look how fantastic this is. Look at this beautiful kind of cup formation. Um, I didn't want to make it a cup formation because it, it's a little lopsided, but sometimes we get these gravy cups where there's a lopsided test to the to the most recent high. In this case, the most recent high was way back in 2011, around about five bucks. It slumps down to the two area and has a wonderful move going up to the most recent high, and now it's at a peak C and pulling back. But look at this, W O O D, and this is the international, the global economy. Um, it's almost the same pattern on the right in the monthly chart. So I like to put them together, and that's just saying internationally, maybe there's been up until now uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good stabilization at these higher levels of these key and very uh, technically oriented indexes. I'll be back. Basil Chapman sitting in for Larry Pesavento. Uh, Dow's down 449, SPs down 86. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
WTFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Both side overture there, and we're back. Uh, Basil Chapman sitting here for Larry Pesavento. I, I believe Larry, uh, maybe, I, I'm not sure if he has sore throat, just wasn't feeling great after a fabulous uh, webinar the other day. Um, I just, I, I had trouble. Same thing with, with the, with the uh, um, speaker. I just, for some reason, I couldn't, I couldn't get it. I, I'll do a replay sometime. I really am upset that I missed it. I especially set aside time that I, I love hearing. Larry's uh, technical veracity and all the different techniques that he has. So look at this. The rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience. Now we've got a smaller rectangle. Now it's getting to the point where it's saying, I'm making slightly higher, higher lows. I haven't yet broken out to the upside. And that just says I could, within that context, we've got a peak C1. I'll talk about that just for a moment. Those of you who do Chapman Wave Analysis, you know what I mean. So this is right here, and there's another one, C1. This should go to a, a D. Oh, there it is. We're on our way, leg D. As we're talking about it, uh, this is exactly what we're talking about. You had the raised rectangle formation. And now, for the very first time, it's only a one-minute chart, I can say that there is some kind of base attempt being established. How that's going to unfold for the rest of the day is just, it, it, it's, it's really critical. But I am looking at it as saying, we've gone above it. We haven't closed because the rectangle formation is a powerful, it's like a magnet. It's like the 200 period moving average. Aha, 200 period moving average. That means that if we start to trade, this is a one minute chart, but the, the principles are all the same. It doesn't matter what time frame. If there is a touch of 3897.50, then the target of 3899.81, of course, it just doesn't know about the futures trading in quarter points, uh, that 3899.50 area will become a target. And once it becomes a target, look, for the first time, since it broke down, look how important the 200 period moving average was. Look how unbelievable it was support for uh, about an hour and a half. And then at a peak D, it broke down and it fell all the way from the 339.36 area. And then it plummeted down to the 3870. And now look at this. The rectangle formation says, remember the rule on the upside is that it can go to a high level consolidation, break to the upside once, and then you've got to be careful if it comes back and takes out the base. Well, this is exactly the opposite. You, you took out the support, and now you're breaking the base. This is a real big positive because it says, finally, this is what I've been looking at all day. We'll see if we're, we're going to be able to hold this. But what we're looking at is the um, ESM22. This is the uh, one-minute E-mini. He's starting to show signs that says, aha, the MACD is good. The nine-period moving average for some time now has been above the 14. The stochastic's finally above 80% and 82%. On balance volume's lagging, but it is rallying. These are all good signs. Just one minute chart, that's all. And now you're going to stall probably at the 200 period moving average. So let me show you something here. This is the, uh, the 10 minute chart. What do I always say? Peak D is what you want to be looking for. Peak D at 7.10 this morning, uh, 7.20. 
at 39.48.50, pulls back to where the 200 period moving average gives a really nice buy signal, goes to peak D uh, from the low of 10.10 at 39.06.50, runs up to a peak D on, at 10, 10 minutes past 12 at 39.79, pulls back under, look, the nine period moving average is still above the 14. So even though it went down below it, it gave a nice signal to say, hey, I could rally and retest the left side high. Well, what does it do? It goes peak A, peak B, peak C. There was an E slash C because when you get to the previous high, you've got to consider that there's the match. Remember, I talk about the test, the vertical test. Look how the technicals were so strong there. And look at the technicals here. <clears throat> they weren't that strong. So it pulls back, holds, and then woof, it goes to the peak D, pulls back. And you can do another test and say, hey, this one was also very weak. And it pulled back very sharply. And what happened? Look how important the 200 period, even on a 10-minute basis. Look at this. It held the 10-minute, the 200 period moving average, uh, which is at, which was at that point at 39.37. And it held it all this way as support, support, support. Boom. At uh, uh, 1 o'clock this morning, I guess it was. Oh, that's right. One o'clock this morning, it pulls back, gives a really nice bounce to a peak A, B. Now, this is something that my, my subscribers to my opening call know very well. There's a technique that I call, it's almost the same as a D. It says that the price had enough technical veracity to say it could have gone one quarter point above that previous high. But if you get enough peak C1 or C2 and then see a pullback, that can act as a deterrent like a D. Well, the 200 period moving average acts as a deterrent and whoop, we, we plunge. And now I'm going to tell you that this is now a peak A and we're in a leg B. I have to call it a gray leg A and a gray leg B because the stochastic's very weak at 23%. But look, the MACD is about to turn positive. If the nine period moving average closes over the 14 period moving average, any time between now, it's it's 10 minutes to 12 Eastern time, between now and 12.30, there's a really good chance that we actually have finally made some kind of a low today and that we're going to have a really good bounce. It's going to be more a rally than a bounce. And there you are. Look, we used the 200 period moving average for a moment, we stalled two bars, and now we've broken up in leg D. Whoa, let's see if the QQQ has gone over 380, what was it, uh, 385 or something, Q, 1, 2, 3, yes, sorry, 285.95, right on the 200 period moving average, and we've got peak A, peak B1, B2, this is peak C, a peak A, peak B, peak C, and then it goes to a D, it's the same as the Dow, as the E-mini chart, and then it goes to um, an E, and then it goes peak A, B, C, this is leg D. So one minute chart has gone to a leg D, stalled right at the 200 period moving average. Ha! Huh, wow. I, I'm not going to say it saved the day, but just for this particular phase, remember, I like to think of the day as two phases or three phases. Sometimes it's four. And within that, you get your early morning between 6 o'clock or 6.30 in the a.m. Eastern time. You can have a spectacular run. You can do all your trading and be done by 9 or 9.30. Then you've got this 9.30 to 10.30, which could be 11 o'clock. And then you've got this period between 11 o'clock and 1.30. Then what happens after 1.30 to 2 o'clock is like another day. So the day is young, as I like to say. And we're now only down 263. The S&P is down 63. So that's a start. For me, That's just it's, it's nice to see because it's a validation of a technique that I've been discussing live. Uh, we've gone to D. We've retested. We've pulled back one bar. If this whole area of 3901... 30, to 30, I'm, I'm busy doing a show instead of trading. Uh, if 3902 to 3898, if that becomes support at any pullback and at any point by 1210 to 1215, the 3915 level is touched in the E mini. It means you're now above in the two minute chart, you're above. And these are automated Chapman Wave support and resistance levels, although I'm not always following that but that's what's there it says 200 period moving average resistance that's where is that right now well 
I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, Dow's down 292, S&P's down 68. We'll be right back. Sitting in for Larry Presidentos Hour. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Hi folks, so Basil Chapman here, sitting in for Larry Pesavento. We're about to wrap up the show. So this is the NQ one-minute chart. It's above the 200-period moving average. If it's and the 90 is above the 14. So you see this little conglomerate of, of moving averages here? It says, look, you've got to consider that when you go sideways, you just draw in the rectangle, narrow rectangle formation. Now the issue will be, does this become a double top? Well, the technicals are actually not bad right here. So the, uh, in, in, this is the NQ, the NQ should, 11,895 is the, uh, 695 is key support. If at any point the NQ starts to trade above 11,780, 11,820, this afternoon, that's going to be really good. So this is a difficult time right here because you're just about the magnet of the 200 period moving average is extant. And as far as I'm concerned, the 20, uh, the E-mini uh, pretty much, broke above and now here too that magnet of the uh, 200 period moving average will it become a propellant rather than repellent my eye says based on the action of the the 10 minute chart this is the the it's looking like from a daily to a monthly says that this should be a leg b and if the nine eventually crosses above the 14 that should take you to the 3927 uh 200 period exponential moving average in the day. Any break to the downside that sees a, a, a 10 minute close below 38.92 says, uh uh, you're dreaming. I'm not going anywhere. I'm stuck. 
But if it starts to rally, it says, you know what, with all this infighting that's going on in the market between the bulls and the bears, there are just a modicum of, of positives that can allow you to see some kind of a, a, a bounce to the upside. So I'm going to also do this just as we're about to uh, finish this program. Remember, I'm just sitting in for Larry Pizzamento. Larry should be back. I, I believe he should be back tomorrow. Uh, normally, my show is the Tiger Technician's Hour, 11, 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock Eastern Time. And my service is the um, opening call, my daily newsletter. Key, key moments now are going to be in the VIX index holding so high uh, in the 30.31 area. If at any point today it starts to trade, it can't just go there, but it has it trades at 29.80 or lower and can hold there for six minutes, phew, I in the market can get a decent rally. So um, what I like to say is hold tight, a lot of whipping around, our buys so far down short-term basis for the upside.